Guess who's back? Back again. Three's back. <coughs> Tell a friend. Psychological. Nasty Ninja. <coughs> Arsh. Steve. Ash. <coughs> the Learner. King J. Ben. Mr. Scat. Mula. Rodri. Random Leftist, Mason, King Z, Mind Blowing Questions, Partha, Vinci, <coughs> Jin Marks, how's it going? <coughs> how's it going? How's it going, everybody? We are here today to talk about some One Piece. This is uh, episode three of the uh, Theory King series, where I basically just go live, you know. We're not, we're not, we don't have a collab or a guest on and we're not reacting to a chapter. We're just, we're just here. All right. We're here, right here on the spot. I'm here to answer all your One Piece questions. Okay. I have been in one, I've been into One Piece since like 2015, 2014. I got really invested when I started doing YouTube, which was almost like two years ago. But yeah, uh, I've gotten quite a few theories correct on my channel. Many, many, many theories at this point. Um, I predicted Luffy would have a mythical Zoan. Luffy would be based off Hanuman. Uh, Shanks and Green Bull coming to Wano. Kazaru going to Akehead. I've predicted many things on the channel, but today is where we can actually sit down and you guys can voice your questions because a lot of the times when we have a guest on and I'm talking to the guest, it's kind you know, it's kind of hard to do everything at the same time or, you know, even if it's a chat reaction, you know, trying to react to the chapter and trying to talk to the chapter while you guys are asking about Shanks versus Mihawk, it's kind of hard, but this is what these streams are for. These streams, the Theory King streams are for, you know, those days off, man, those days off, days like today where, you know, we just have to get all that stuff that's on the sidelines, you know, cross skill, dragon, all that. I'm glad to see everybody here. Ty, N4, Dawn of Ascension, Guprit. Ilias, Griffin, Mula, Dion, Zucane, Sosa, Scorpio, Hako. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be taking a look at um, you know, anything One Piece. Um, and you know, again, today's like one of the perfect days for you guys to, you know, ask all the random questions. Cause when you guys ask random questions, it's always during a chapter reaction, <laughs> or it's always like while well, I'm talking to a guest about some shit. You guys be sidetracking us. Rocks D Zebek, Francis. Um, yo, Francis, glad to have you, bro. I'm glad you made it to a stream. Uh, speaking about content, tomorrow morning, guys. Tomorrow morning. Right now it is. Right now it is 12:03 p.m. Okay, my time. I'm in EST, Eastern Standard Time. Tomorrow at 9 a.m. EST, you guys will get a new video. And then on Saturday, 9 a.m. EST, another video. Um, also, Saturday stream, I need you guys to show up, all right? Saturday stream, um, Mar um, I was gonna say Marshall D. Preach. For Saturday stream, we're gonna have JD Legend on, all right? We're gonna have JD Legend on the channel. And I think it's gonna be a great stream because I think he's such a funny guy. Anytime I've like been in some kind of collab with him, he's always been super chill. You know what I'm saying? And I agree with a lot, a lot of the shit he says. So this Saturday stream with JD Legend, y'all don't miss it. But um, yeah, what's the first order of business? What's the first order of business? Is it the man with the uh, burn scar? Oh, that man, A1's getting that work out of it. Let's go. That man, A1's getting to it, bro. Yo, King Z, Mimi, uh, Evil X Par, bro. Parvision's one of the coolest creators I know, bro. Like behind the scenes, Parvision has to be one of like the most like laid back, like respectful dudes I know in this shit, bro. I fuck with Parvision heavy, bro. Parvision, Dak Sake, Marshall D Preach. I would say those are like some of my favorite creators in terms of people, bro. Like those three guys, bro, behind the scenes, man. Shouts out to them, bro. They get my cosign. All right, um, yo, yo, what's up, Ty? What's good? Uh, is it Daryl? 
I'm kind of dyslexic. Zaniris, you be having them crazy coughs on stream sometimes, but you still smoke. Bro, y'all still dragging that on, bro? Breathe air. It's been weeks. How are you still saying that? Um, Yo, Lucky Roo was good, bro. Uh, so, yeah. Basically, I man, I really wanted to I really want to talk about like well how many how much spoilers do we have? Cuz I think there's a lot of like fake spoilers out. Damn. All right, well we can't talk about spoilers anyways. Um the man with the burn scar. That's going to be Saturday's video and I just want to know what you guys think uh, about that topic. Who do you guys think is the man with the burn scar? We could go through all your guys' options and we'll talk about them one by one. You know, but I don't want to talk about my option, obviously, because I don't want to spoil the video. For those of you that are in my Discord server, you saw a preview to the video. Don't spoil it. Yo, Panda Man for the man with the burn scar would be lit, bro. Because we already know with Panda Man, he's a canon character that had to have been like from the void century. And he saw like the birth of Kaguya, or he saw like Kaguya um, in a tree or something. I'm so zoomed in, bro. He saw Kaguya in a tree at one point, which like proves Emu's gonna be based. Yeah. In addition, Panaman's supposed backstory directly references the myth of Princess Kaguya, who is said to have possessed or said to have discovered, said to have been discovered in a bamboo stalk by a kindly woodcutter. Yeah, bro, this this man literally met Princess Kaguya in One Piece. Bro. That's insane. That's crazy. Hey, Young Smokey with the five. Appreciate you, my boy. Dragon great vids as always, brother. Dragon great vids as all. Dragon? Oh, you mean, oh, dragon as in man with the burn scar. Oh, I, I see what you're saying. I was like, why do you say dragon? <laughs> I already forgot. I fucking asked y'all. Um, Dragon. Okay, so dragon being the man with the burn scar would be kind of cool, but like, you know, I would be, I would like, I would wonder why sure you had that comment about working with the world government if it was Dragon. I guess it could be a curveball because Dragon would be like the total opposite from someone that would work for the world government. So it's kind of like a curveball in that sense. But I don't, I don't know if Oda is willing to do that. You know, uh, I, I don't want to, I don't want to go too in depth. But like my take about the man with the burn scar, I think it's actually the Revolutionary Army. Shout out to King J, cause me and King J were were cooking that up for a little bit, and we were uh, we were building on that. I think um, multiple revs, again being uh, cross skill or the man with the burn scar would be fire, cause like when you think about the man with the burn scar, he sails a jet black ship. He had to have went to Fishman Island or at least knew Whitebeard. He had to have, or maybe worked with the world government. It's like, whoever the man with the burn scar is, has to be like a really diverse person. Like this person can do, it seems like that person can do many different things, right? Whirlpools, the ship, having the Poneglyph in the first place, maybe even going to Fisherman Island, talking to, talking to Whitebeard. Um, and the reason why all of the clues regarding the man with the burn scar is like really random and like kind of all over the place is because people are getting clues about a group of people right so when you think about like the the concept of one person having all these traits that seem kind of impossible to fit into one person when you when you think about that compared to people getting clues about a group of people it seems like the latter's far more likely if you guys are following what I'm saying. So what I'm trying to say is that um, the One Piece world has all these random weird clues regarding the man with the burn scar because the people finding out about the clues are observing a group of people, not a single person. Um, I hope I was able to, to say that correctly. Um, 
appreciate the super chat young smoky and shout out to sneeko with the two shout out joy and another two no problem joy wait what shout out joy is that like a person's name like shout out to joy is that what you're saying yo imagine that was the real sneeko how fucking insane would that be According to an intensive research I have come across, there's a candidate that nobody seems to be mentioning. It could be Con Oriano. Yo, man, that yo, the Con Oriano shit, bro. We we can't keep doing it forever, bro. We can't. Um. Let me see. All right. Um, oh shit, Sneeko says he's emu. Let's go. What do you think about Dragon being in the Navy and stealing the Poneglyph? So I don't think Dragon was in the Revs or the world government for that matter, right? The reason is simple. When Dragon rescued Sabo, Sabo went on a rant about being from Goa Kingdom, yet hating aristocrats and celestial dragons. He hated the classism of Goa Kingdom. And when Dragon heard that from Sabo when he rescued him, Dragon said, I know I grew up in Goa Kingdom too and I experienced the same thing. I don't like it, right? So from that conversation alone, you can understand that Dragon most likely made the Freedom Fighters in the first place because of his childhood at Goa Kingdom. And then obviously come to find out, we already know that when Dragon went to Ohara while he was a Freedom Fighter, seeing Ohara made him create the Revs, right? So we already basically have like, what's the word I'm looking for? We already have like the skeleton of Dragon's life. Goa Kingdom, Freedom Fighter, Ohara Incident, Revolutionary Army. So, um, I forgot why I even mentioned any of this in the first place. <laughs> Somebody said something about something. Um, oh, Mr. Scat, he said um, Dragon was going to steal a pony. Yeah, I, I don't think Dragon was an Admiral or I guess maybe you could, maybe in some kind of world he was a cypher pole agent but eh, i don't know i would probably put my chips on dragon not being in the marines or world government to be honest uh shout out to young smoky with the five what about gabon he's mainly man after wait, wait wait he's mainly man after all he's mainly man after all he's mainly man am i like is my brain not like computing that what about Gabon? He's mainly man after. Yeah, I must be. I must be the dumbass. Shouts out to Smokey though. <laughs> he's mainly man. It's supposed to say he's a manly man. Oh, you know what, bro? As of recent times, I've started appreciating Scopper Gabon a little bit more, bro. And shout out to Scopper Gabon, the one that comes to the streams all the time and always super chats to fucking speak. <laughs> you guys know that Scopper Gabon. Shout out to him because. People like him make me appreciate Scopper. And you know what? I was actually editing one of my recent videos. It, it might have been the cross guild video I'm putting out tomorrow. I think it was that video. But I was editing a video recently and like I saw a moment in the anime of um Don't let it slip my mind. Shit, what was what was I saying? Ah, uh, yo, for some reason, for some reason recently, I've been having crazy short-term memory loss on stream, specifically on stream. It must be the gas, bro. Fuck, what was I talking about? Um, all right, guys, let's let's just pretend I I, I was just spitting the whole time. Sneeko says, yeah, shout out Scopper. <laughs> Yo, that man, I'm not even playing. That man, Scopper Gabon, will literally join the stream for like two hours, right? A fat chunk of time. If any of you guys watch my streams that long, I love you. But this man, Scopper, will join the stream for two hours. And the entire time he's talking is Super Chats. 
Like something's wrong with that man. That gotta be like Par's burner. It's either Par's burner, Dak Sake's burner. <laughs> it's Marshall D. Preach's burner, y'all. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. You were talking about how you recently been approached. Oh, okay. Now I remember. Okay, now I remember. When I was editing a recent video, I saw a clip of Scopper Gabon in the anime, and for some reason, like. I like looked at it and I was like, hmm, this is a character that like, I never really cared for, but like he, he actually seems kind of interesting. Like just based off the fact that we've seen plenty of Roger, Rayleigh, um, Shanks, whatever, but haven't seen anything from Scopper is kind of a, a kind of a red flag. Um, you know, it, it's like he, he, he was a, he was a, he was a Roger pirate. So for him to be thrown to the side would be kind of weird, you know? So, so if, if Oda reintroduces Scopper or, you know, I guess introduces Scopper into like one of the main plot lines of the story, I think that would, that would feel good. It would, it would feel right. You know, do you guys feel the same way? I, 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 what I'm basically saying is that I feel like Oda should bring Scopper into the story. It doesn't have to be a big role. He doesn't have to be the man with the burn scar. He doesn't have to have a pony glyph. Just, you know, something, right? Something. Maybe Scopper's at low star and he's giving Luffy like one last tip before Laugh Tale. Or maybe, you know, fucking we see we see Scopper reunite with Rayleigh. That would be cool too. Like something, right? I feel like Oda throwing Scopper to the side would be kind of weird. Yo, shout out to, to Mr. Is it Mr.? I don't know if you're a Mr. or a Mrs., to be honest. Nah, let me look at your channel. Maybe I can just fucking assume your gender. Naranja. Oh, I think I've seen your channel before. I think I've pulled your channel up one time. Yo, shout out to... Hey, guys, everyone watching the stream, shout out to, to Naranja. That means orange. Shout out to... Uh, shout out to Naranja, bro. Um, shouts out to Sneeko too. I feel like Scopper is just weirdly neglected. That's what I'm saying. And a uh, group with the two months. I think Mihawk was part of the red hair pirates, bro. You know how insane that would be. That would be so crazy. Mihawk in the shadow, in the footsteps, in the fucking <laughs> in the fucking Roger or the Red Air Pirates? Nah, bro. Yo, Mihawk being a Red Air Pirate has to be the nuttiest shit I've ever heard. Collab with Side because you both are my favorite. Yo, tell the man to hit me up, man. Hey, bro, tell, tell him to hit me up, bro. My DMs are open on Twitter. He can hit me up on Discord. People, OP, all the people that I fuck with in the OP YouTuber space, they 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 know, bro. They know I be working, bro. If any of these guys ask me, if these guys hit me up and they're like, yo, Evil, you wanna collab, bro? I know today's like Tuesday, but you know, could you have it by Saturday? Bro by the end of tuesday i'm already sending them like the audio and shit because you know what i'm trying to get to that motherfucking bag plus this shit's fun this whole youtube stuff this one piece shit's this shit's hella fun shout out to mr west with the one month let's go all right i guess it's not a one month well i guess technically it is a one month if it is a gift shouts out to the boy is Scopper gonna finally come out? Yo, Scopper's gonna come out, but not in the way that you think. Are 1083 spoilers out? I don't know, bro, are they? I know you are, but what am I? Um, yo, I think Monkey D Dragon will fight Emu Sama because he's a perfect opponent and will team up to face of Um. You know, the whole root of One Piece as a story is right now 
it seems to be that there is a legendary hero named Joy Boy that died to a villain named Emu. So therefore, the main character's goal is to fulfill the wishes and to, you know, to fall into the footsteps of that legendary hero. For Luffy to not fight and defeat Emu would be that would like be that would be a travesty to be honest. That would be a travesty. The whole story of One Piece is because of Joy Boy and Emu. Unless for some reason Emu's a good person and the Goto Sages don't listen to Emu or some shit that's definitely not gonna happen. Emu's being depicted as an evil character. Um with that being said, uh yeah, I think Emu got rid of Joy Boy, so it has to be Luffy that has it has to be Luffy when it comes to the person defeating emu not dragon that's like saying dragon beats emu or defeats emu kills emu whatever dragon beating emu is like on the same plane of existence as like zoro kills kaido like yes yeah, so you could sit there all day long and talk about how you know zoro relates to this guy and this villain fucking is weak to swords and blah 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 the main character especially um in a shonen manga like one piece the main character is the one who takes out the major villains like nine times out of ten so like why would you close the story of one piece by having the main character not take down the person that caused the story in the first place like how anticlimactic would that be for us to cheer for luffy the whole story and then he loses the final his final fight in the story like would that not be an l or i guess he could win his final fight in the story but it would be against i guess you guys would say blackbeard and then dragon would be emu like that'd be hella anticlimactic Yo, shout out to King Recon. It's the Kingu. Um, and Emu has been in the story from the start. It's the sea and the moon. Um, I think Emu is going to have connections to the sea devil in one piece. Uh, if you guys remember my sea devil video, uh, you would know that Shanks said that devil fruits are cursed by the sea devil right what do you think about the man marked by flames being sunbell i think sunbell that doesn't fit oda's writing there's one thing i notice about like one piece mysteries and theories and especially like the whole weekly reading thing i've 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 for like the past few months i've really caught on to something there's this trend where like weekly readers of one piece will have like a question in mind or like a problem or a mystery you know on the weekly read and there will be answers or there'll be theories regarding that mystery from the community and some of those theories will be way too left field but they fit mechanically right and it's never those answers I've noticed it's almost never those answers. Those answers where it's like, oh, it's this one random character that was in the background of Water 7, you know, because technically they have this and they have that. It's never it's never that kind of situation. When we saw Odin in uh, Roof to our Onigashima, when it was Conjuro, it wasn't, oh, Katarina Devon morphed as fucking, um, morphed as uh, Odin, you know? Um, the same you could say the same thing about the traitor on Egghead. It wasn't some fucking random like side character, right? A lot of these times it seems like people like they have these random like obscure characters that like get pushed into theories. So someone like Sunbell from the Roger Pirates is just like under the microscope, sure, it might fit into the story mechanically, because he was a Roger Pirate. He was a fishman, whatever. But is someone like him gonna have the final road poneglyph? Like, you had the whole story built on the precedent that Luffy's gathering four road poneglyphs. He's gathering these rocks, that way he could get to the final island. And like, you gave the final one to like the most obscure, random, like, why Why would Sunbell have it instead of like Rayleigh or Scopper or whatever, right? I don't know. I don't get it. 
Shout out to Sosa with the two. Did you peep my copium theory in Discord yesterday? Um, it depends which one because I think people tagged me and stuff yesterday a few times. Um, I don't know. It's hard to keep track sometimes. There, there will be a lot of pings I get from my server. Um, Johan said, are you looking forward to the next Gear 5 One Piece episode, which is coming in 10 episodes? I don't follow the anime. I don't I don't really care for the anime. I'm waiting for the next chapter. If you want to talk about 1083, I'm ready for the next uh, chapter. What was your favorite title suggestion for your new video? Um, what was my favorite? Uh, Cross Guild and Shambles has like the most votes. That's pretty cool. Cross Guild and Shambles. Hmm. I'll probably have to look at them. Uh, probably have to look at them in a little bit. Yo, guys, sorry I'm looking hella rough. I'm try. I, I got a vacation I'm going on soon, and I'm trying not to get two fucking haircuts consecutively. I'm not trying to do that. So I'm trying to delay my haircut as much as I can <laughs> until it's like right before the vacation. Then I'll clean up because I know I got this. I got this great ass camera, and you you guys are like looking at this hobo. <laughs> we'll get it fixed, y'all. Um, I'm going on that trip. My flight, actually, I'm so excited, yo. That vacation I'm going on, guys, that's going to be the same week that I do the IRL streams, May 15th and May 17th. Okay, guys, May 15th and May 17th. We're going to be doing IRL streams on the channel. You do not want to miss it. It's going to be one in a lifetime opportunity for you to watch a boy in the IRL POV. I was going to do something and I totally forgot what it was. Jesus, bro. I don't know what's I don't know what's going on with my head today. Yo, I'm sure that buggy will get the last pony glyph before anybody else. You know what's crazy? If Law joins Cross Guild, I would be under the assumption that Law had extra copies of Poneglyphs because if you guys remember the if you guys remember the end of Wano when Law was talking to Luffy and, and Kid Law said here take copies of the Poneglyph right so you can't even argue that like Law doesn't think like oh I should copy that make a copy of the Poneglyph I think Law thought of that right and what Law probably did is he gave Blackbeard a copy of the Poneglyph I don't think Law is going to lose all his Poneglyphs right now I think Law is going to lose his crew and his ship and he's gonna take the last remaining copies of the pony glyphs that he has to cross guild and then he's gonna make cross guild let him join because buggy wants to go to laugh tail just like law buggy wants to find the one piece and law wants to learn the checkered fate so uh law being an ex warlord just like all the other cross guild members that's another reason why um, Law is going to join Cross Guild. I think Buggy is opponent goes after BB. Honestly, as funny as it would be, um, as funny as it would be to see Buggy become the Pirate King, I just, I just don't want that. Like, don't you think don't you guys think that would be taking the joke too far like we've been watching luffy grow this whole time we've been reading for a thousand plus chapters right we need to see luffy become the pirate king i guess you could make up a scenario where both luffy and buggy are the pirate king but it would just it would not feel right if luffy actually never got to be pirate king like Oda invested way too much into that. That's like saying, oh, Luffy's not gonna find the One Piece. Like, that's a fucking crime, right? So, that's why I don't like the idea of Buggy and Blackbeard fucking becoming the Pirate King instead of Luffy. That's like Luffy not finding the One Piece. In fact, that could be the same exact thing. If Luffy didn't go to laugh tail and didn't become the pirate king then he wouldn't have the one piece in the first place and that just would that wouldn't be that good would it guys would it be 
Um, can you check out my theory I sent you on Discord? It's about emu. Um, I don't know where you sent it on Discord. And shout out to Axe with the two. Buggy will likely be known as Joy Boy. He's a clown, bro. Axe. We already know Luffy's named. We already know Luffy's marked as Joy Boy. Remember? Zunisha? Zunisha said, yo, Luffy, it's Joy Boy. Joy Boy has returned. Shouts out to my boy Axe, bro. Shouts out to my boy Axe, bro. All right, how about this? Luffy and Buggy. Luffy and Buggy are Joy Boy. Axe, do we have a deal? Do we have a deal, Axe? Luffy and Buggy, both of them are Pirate King. <coughs> they will call Luffy Nika and Pirate King. Oh, okay. Moria will run from Blackbeard and join Cross Guild. Yo, that's fucking hilarious. I think we are due for a fifth Yonko. Emperor Damaro Black. Yo, Lord Vegeta, what's up, bro? Alright guys, what what other theories we need to go go over? You ate the Poneglyph? Black definitely Yonko tier. Did you make a theory as to how Luffy came to understand the name of Joy Boy at the end of Wano? I don't remember Luffy even understanding that. I don't remember that being a thing. Any theory related to Hanumanji? Uh, not right now. I mean, on my channel, I have a bunch of videos that kind of relate to Hanumanji, but I don't have any theories right now about Hanumanji. In fact, me and King J have been cooking up some shit regarding, uh, regarding, um, Mary. Hey, guys, if you think about Marijua, right? The, 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 the country, the kingdom of Marijua, Mary Geo, which would be Mary's world. So Marie Joa, Mary Joa, Mary Geo is Mary's world. Maybe Emu is Mary. So therefore, boom, Emu's world, Mary, Mary's world. Now we know that there was a Mary in the Bible and I'm pretty sure she had three children. What would you call the boy Mary had, guys? What would you call the boy Mary Mary had? Mary's boy. Another word for the word, uh, or a synonym to the word Mary is joy. Joy boy. You think we're gonna get the rest of Kuma's flashback? Um, definitely, definitely. Hey, Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Let that sink in, Sly. Let that sink in. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Um, there are even those who think vague Mary is linked with a sheep or lamb. Yeah, bro, Luffy. Luffy has so Luffy and Jesus have so many um relationships or so many uh similarities with uh sheep and lamb, right? Isn't isn't Jesus called like the lamb of God? Going Mary's son is Sunny Go. Emu's son is Emu's son is Sun God Joy Boy. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta read that again. <laughs> Going Mary's son is Sunny Go. Emu's son is Sun God. Okay, I see what you're saying. Wait, so then that would make Emu the lamb, right? Oh, I see what you're saying now. Going Mary 
went down into the sunny go the the lamb the lamb the goat whatever went down into the sun and then emu being mary would be a lamb going down into the so what nika or joy boy is the son of emu shouts out to my boy rocks review shouts out to the boy we're gonna a hey, rocks review man in a few more weeks i'm getting you on the channel bro no matter what rocks review i gotta get you on the channel bro let's pull up mr rocks review mr rocks review look at that boy 188k goaded go to channel bro um when you brought the relation relation of hanuman in one piece it shocked me as i am from a country where we worship him and i grew up with his legend yo shouts out to hanumanji shouts out to the beautiful culture of uh hinduism shouts out to the beautiful country of india um shouts out to uh krishna you know i have all my um love and positive energies sent that way so 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 shouts out to you know all, all them groups It will be my honor. Let's go, Rocks Review. Let's go. Shouts out, Sita. <laughs> Let's go, Sita. Okay, okay. Shouts out, Casey. Shouts out, Vayu. Shouts out, <coughs> Dharma. <coughs> hey, yo. Shouts out, Davy, bro. The will of Davy, man. That video is still like. One of my favorite yet most regretful things on my channel. In that video, guys, if you guys remember my Will of D video, the D initial in Indian or in Indian in like Hinduism, um, for 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 men or for uh, um, masculine speech, the word you would use for someone that's considered a god would be a deva. And the female equivalent to that would be a Davy. But for some reason, when I made that video, it didn't click in my head. It didn't click in my head that, wait, what if Oda's is going with the female version of the gods in Hinduism, Davy, because that sounds like Davy Jones, which we already know was uh, mentioned during Long Ring Long Land, right? I, I, I might have to make a part two, bro. I might have to make a part two. I literally had the, I could go screen. We could go pull it up right now, bro. Look at this, bro. Let's check this out, bro. It was this video, man. Uh, Davey might be an inversion of devil. um look 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 at that so dave a whole video and if i would have uh made sure to pinpoint the feminine equivalent bro that video would have been way better man i might have to make a part two bro the will of davy it's answered bro will of davy from hinduism and then davy from davy jones it's oda did a double entendre bro uh, uh, bro oda was on his eminem shit oda literally went slim shady mode and he said yo will of d davy and davy we don't deserve oda What's up, Alexis Hurtado? Sengoku's pet is in one piece? Hell no. Shouts out to Indra. Shouts out to Ganesha. Um, that theory was cracked. Yo, JP was good, my boy. Where, where you been, JP? Mother, bro, we got JP in the stream? Nah, bro. We're about to turn up, bro. Got JP in this hoe. Shouts out to Ryan for the five. 
What if the awakened version of Boa's fruit is the thing that made the Poneglyphs indestructible? Maybe the Poneglyphs could even have something inside. So I was talking about something very, very, very similar uh, to that. It was either yesterday or the day before. I don't remember which day it was. What's good, Dion? What's good, my boy? I said, like, what if the Poneglyphs you know they were carved and you know you wrote on them or whatever and then it was made impenetrable which is kind of like what you're saying in a way right well actually uh awaken made the opponent into oh you're st okay awaken so okay so yeah it is what you're saying then because you're saying the awakened version of boa's fruit would be indestructible okay so then yeah what you're what you super chat is similar to what i was saying the other day where um the kazukis they probably had like a regular basic rock or just something some kind of square they drew and they wrote the poneglyphs and um you know they wrote the hieroglyphics or whatever on the stone and then they made it indestructible right because it wouldn't really make sense if it was the other way around where like they made the stone in in indestructible and then carved on it right that just wouldn't make any sense they had to have carved on it before it was indestructible um so yeah shouts out to the boy ryan I'm gonna call you Ryan Seacrest. Hey, what, hey, who here knows that little B song, Ryan Seacrest? Bitch mob. Is 1082 allowed? Yes, I'm pretty sure 1082 came out for OP scans, right? We're not gonna be talking about um, 1083 because that chapter's not out yet. So yeah, talk about 1082, but don't talk about 1083 base guide oh five fuck them let's go x bro let's go uh didn't roger carve in the poneglyph in skypea that was made out of stone or i'm sorry gold right so the gold poneglyph i don't think it's gonna be like the other poneglyphs <coughs> <coughs> i think since odin can write in it it's indestructible only to natural causes so world government didn't destroy it yet because they're in nations outside world government authority oh yo i see what, i see what you mean king jay damn i wasn't thinking of it like that what do you think about marshall d preach long ring island theory if you've checked it i know um dak sake has a long ring on or long ring long land theory I don't remember watching preaches. Was it laughs tale? I don't really remember a preach long ring theory. What is the Godose doing in Egghead? I think the Godose are going to be combatants, right? You know, one of the Godose members hold a sword. Multiple of them are uh, scarred. These guys are running the world of this anime. You know, it would just make most sense if these guys were fighters, right? You, I could just go on all day. If I really wanted to, I could make a video. 25 reasons why why Saturn's going to fight on Egghead. Because it's, like, it's very clear, right? Like, if he was a fragile, weak person that couldn't fight, sending him into a war zone with an emperor, a pirate emperor, your sworn enemy, that's just suicide, right? Why the fuck would they send Saturn against Luffy? That's, that's completely... No, that's complete nonsense, right? Complete nonsense. Um, I think the only reason they would do that is if he was actually a fighter. It's that simple. I'm just supporting great content. Yo, shouts out to the boy, man. Shouts out to Dion, one of the goats. One of the goats. Um, but yeah, that's my take. It's my take. Um, do you think I'll go to say over Yonko? Um, probably not. I mean, I would say that the go to say will would be at least Admiral level, right? I don't think there's any way anyone can. can ah. <laughs> Let me start over. There's no way that someone can accurately power scale the go to say right now, right? You can't do that. The only thing, the closest thing to that is guesstimating that he's at least Admiral level because he's gonna have to fight on Egghead. He's gonna fight on Egghead, right? 
Presumably. So he would have to be at least Admiral level. Me personally, I think he's going to be around Yonko level. Evil's live is thanks to the channel being sponsored by Dion. So everyone think Dion in the chat. Yo, shouts out to Dion, man. I'm hella excited to get some Void Century lore. Yo, me too, man. I think this arc, it might be the arc where we get the Ancient Kingdom's name, bro. I think um, that might even be the reason why Oda had Luffy talk about his dream. And then uh, Blackbeard says his dreams to make a pirate country. And then we hear about this Ancient Kingdom in the past again. I think those, those plot lines are actually interconnected, right? Luffy's dream... The Ancient Kingdom, Joy Boy, those three things are going to be intertwined. Which is why Luffy's true dream is probably what Joy Boy wanted or had. Which would probably be a pirate country. And when Clover was talking to the Godesei, and he said the name of that country was, he was about to say pirate country and inspire these people in Ohara or inspire the world to go create a pirate country, which is like fucking damn near what Roger did. He inspired a generation of pirates, which they hated him for. So the concept of Luffy wanting to make a pirate country, just like what um, Joy Boy had in the past, or at least maybe had, it makes a lot of sense. Shouts out to OP scans, especially Cyborg. Shouts out to Cyborg Works. Young Goat. What do you think the name of the Ancient Kingdom was? I, th I just said, bro. I think the name of the Ancient Kingdom is Kaizuko Kuni. Pirate Country. I have a video on it. You guys should go watch it. Unfortunately, I was going through the comments. I, I usually... I'm going to be honest, guys. I usually don't read comments on a video until... Or, I mean... How do I say this? I'll read the comments on a video for like the first two days and then I stop reading the comments on the video. Usually, right? A lot of the comments I got on the video about Luffy's country or Luffy's dream being a pirate country, you could just straight up tell people were not even watching the video, which is like the most annoying thing, right? Like it's one thing if, you know, someone agrees with your theory because you said something wrong or something you said was inaccurate, but like, if someone like tries to argue with you and you could tell they didn't even watch the full th video or they didn't read the full theory, like that's just some of the, like, the lamest behavior. I felt like some of the comments for the, the Luffy country one was like the same, was the same kind of thing, you know? I, and like, like I said, I'm completely fine with, with people disagreeing with me. It's fine. I don't really care. But if you're going to like leave like a comment like, oh, my God, how is that possible? Because da, 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 da. And like what you're saying clearly can show that you didn't even watch the video. Then it's just like, why? Why should I even read the comment then? Have you seen Hidden Islands Theory on it being a pirate country? He made it last summer. Interesting watch. Glad other people are coming to the same conclusions. Awesome theory. Um. I remember um, Hidden Island said that the name of the ancient king kingdom was One Piece, but I I, I don't remember a king um, I don't remember Hidden Island saying a uh, pirate country for Luffy's dream. I don't remember that. Uh, shouts out to Sosa for the five. Is the Onigashima skull or is this species the original continent puller? Was the Earth God from the Void Century and the one who shut down the borders of Wano? Okay. I, I, I get the gist of what you're asking, Hard Rock, or Hard Rock, Sosa. <laughs> Why the fuck did I just say Hard Rock? Sosa, I get the gist of what you're saying. <coughs> so, <coughs> give me one second. I'm going to pull up a photo for you. Okay. And shouts out to Lubu for the two. Yo, ho, 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 ho. All right, so check me out, guys. 
I know a lot of people on Twitter and multiple people on YouTube have noticed this. A lot of people have grasped onto the fact that Ors' ship, Little Ors Jr.'s ship, says Ors the Third, right? And I don't think this is a typo because I'm pretty sure in the manga it also says three. So for Little Ors Jr. to be the third, you would have to assume that there's an Ors that Oda has not shown us. Because if that was the case, it would explain why his flag says three on the in the anime and the manga. Now, the the next question is, okay, that, that missing Ors creating the third, is that the middle child or is that the, the, the first ancestor? I think it's the first ancestor. I think there's gonna be an original Ors. Maybe it was even Joy Boy, shout out to Wizard Ors. There's gonna be an original Ors that Oda has been hiding from us. And I think I know who it is. One second, guys. Let me pull up the picture. Um, I hope I can find it. Um, whatever, I'm just gonna have to Google it. So, in the anime and the manga, there was a statue in Skypea, and this statue was called Varse. When you get the word Vars in Japanese and you translate it, it translates to Earth. Not Verth, it translates to Earth. So Vars is Earth. Instead of saying Vars, you could say Earth. It's the same thing, right? So on, on Skypea, there was a statue called Earth, right? And they said on Sky, at Skypea that this statue was worshipped upon and it was treated as a god. So now you have the, 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 the concept of a statue that is an Earth god. It's a very simple puzzle to put together, right? The craziest part about this, y'all, here's the craziest part about this. This man, Earth, right? looks exactly like little wars jr or at least like close to it the eyes are kind of inwards right underneath the the eyebrow bridge then look at the teeth right it's similar teeth right i think this statue earth is the original earth god and it's probably also the original ors that's what my theory is i think this statue is the original ors he's the reason why little ors jr has a flag that says ors the third because it was him then it was him then it was him first second third first second third let's go yes sir we cooked shouts out to my boy dion with the 20. keep cooking brother yo appreciate you bro that that's 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 one thing i've been playing around with for a while just in my head you know the whole the whole ors of ours thing it's just like i don't think anyone would really care about an ors theory right if i made a whole video and i sat down and i recorded it and i put out an ors video i don't think anyone's gonna watch that so i mean technically it would be like an earth god video too because what I'm arguing is that the statue on Skypea that was shot up because of the knockup stream, that statue is the original Ors, which would be the Earth God. Oh, so then that would technically, that would that would mean in Skypea, um, you know, in the flashback with Nolan and Calgara, if you guys remember how they said Earth God, Forest God, Rain God, um, Sun God, maybe Little Ors Jr. is the Earth God. Yo, Jay, you don't even see me cooking over here. And Lubu with another two. Ors originally had the island island fruit. That would be crazy. The island island fruit, that would explain the skull on Onigashima. Yo, guys, I've been waiting for so long. What is that skull on Onigashima, bro? I don't smoke hookah. Um, 
Bro, I thought by the end of Wano, Oda was going to be like, all right, man, the skull is Joy Boy, or it's Oars, or it's something. Oda just straight skipped it. Oda straight ignored the skull on Onigashima. Shout out to Lubu. That's a really fun idea, though. Oars having the island fruit. That would be insane. And shout out to Robin with the five. Could the monkey family be descendants of the Skypeans? Skypeans, Coburn, Shandy and Chief, Garp all have animal masks. Wiper and Dragon have left face tattoos. Yeah, so I've definitely picked up on those clues as well regarding like the monkey D family fucking Shandy and stuff. Um, I just, I don't know if I'm willing to put my chips on it, you know? Like, is it something that I would be willing to bet on? Probably not. Like, cause I feel like I need some more. I need more substance, right? Like, I really like how the Shanian chief, like you said, he had the, the dog hat and Garp had the dog hat. That was pretty cool. The dragon face tats and wiper face tats, meh. You know, maybe that's a connection, but the, 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 the dog hat, <laughs> those were like the same exact thing um and we know people in the in skypea they very rarely ever get stuff from like the earth the blue planet that's why they fucking have a celebration every time they do have stuff from earth that's why they value it and they call it verse right um yeah not much else to say on that topic we need more law. I have a law video dropping in the morning. I got a video about law and cross guild dropping in approximately probably like 19 hours, probably like 18, 19 hours from now. Did you see that on the Aztec calendar 52 years ago, Roger died 52 states in the USA. Um, I'm not sure if there's any correlation there. Probably not. Um, unless there's something that I'm overlooking, bro. Notifications activated. Definitely. We'll check that out. Shouts out to my boy Naranja, bro. Mr. Cuatro, Mr. Four, bro. Little orange, bro. And we got L in the chat. Was good, bro. Oh shit, we got growth stonks in the chat. Yo, stonks is in the chat. Nah. He said the man marked by flames could be Sunbell from the Roger Pirates. Sunbell also has a fire tattoo on his arm. Fish or arm and fishmen are known to create whirlpools. So growth, me personally, bro, I think the person with the burn scar is gonna be someone that's prolific, someone that's important to the storyline. I don't think Sunbell's important to the storyline, but I'll make you a deal, growth stonks, I'll make you a deal. We'll have, me and you will have two options, right? Oh, well, yeah, we'll have, we'll have two different guesses. Me and you will have a guess for someone, um, being the burn scar man but as someone that's probably important and then we'll have a guest for like a sideline character that could be the man with the burn scar if you want to do that growth me and you could do that and i'll i'll agree with you if the man with the burn scar is like a sideline random kind of character it'll probably be sunbell but i don't think oda's gonna make it someone like him you know like think about how important this moment is it's like Whoever gets this final road pony, pony glyph is probably probably gonna be in a position to be Pirate King, one way or another, especially if everyone meets at one place and there's a war. With that being said, um, Sunbell being the one that's like pulling the strings behind that seems a little strange. Um, but either way, Growth Stonks, if it's a sideline character, if it's a curveball, I agree with you, uh, Growth uh, uh, Sunbell. And shout out to Laser Shock with the two. W stream, W YouTuber, W theorist, 
Shouts out to the boy Laser. Wazer, bro. Wazer Walk, bro. Angie with the five gifted memberships. Yo, shouts out to Laser and G, bro. Shout out to Laser again with the 333. Let's go. Three I try. Let's go. <laughs> yes, sir. Who would be best for the story uh, with. Uh, who would be the best for the story to be the man with the burn scar? You're going to see my video on it Saturday morning. I talked about it a little bit earlier in the stream. I don't want to spoil it. I think the man with the burn scar is actually a burned men or the burned men. Because I think the Revolutionary Army is the man with the burn scar. Um, you can wait for the video on Saturday. I don't want to spoil it. All the details will be in that video. You'll see where I'm coming from. Yeah. Just wait till Saturday and you'll see, bro. You'll see. And shout out, out to Lubu with the ghast. Lee. Ghastly and Laser Shock. The young goats, bro. JD Legend had the most fire on the man marked by flames. Who did he say it was? Flipping pizzas at work and watching evil. Yo, W. That man JP get into that money, man. When is Dofi Evil tuning in? Yo, Evil. Yo, you want the evil Doflamingo? He's here. Watch. Let me see one stupid thing in the chat right now and I'm roasting somebody. Let me see one stupid thing in the stream chat and I'm about to roast somebody. What do you think about the hole in any's lobby in the sunlight? I think the hole in any's lobby is what Lelucia had rained down on them. So the next time Oda shows us Lelucia, um, there's going to be a fucking gaping hole and it's going to be just like any's lobby, bro. Watch. And that, bro, if Oda did that and ended the chapter there, fans would piss themselves, bro. Imagine that. Imagine like the last page of a chapter it was like and now lelucia new world and then like dragons pulling up to lelucia and he's like oh my god no way and then the last panel is like a fucking massive hole where lelucia was just like any's lobby if oda did that bro you know bro that would be heat bro i guarantee you fans would love that shit i know for a fact fans would love that Did Lelucia not get destroyed? Morge had a pretty good theory. I, I, I believe that they got destroyed, and I did watch that video. Um, Lelucia is done, bro. Lelucia is done. Although the milkmaid was seen with Sabo. <coughs> um. Gaimon's the man marked by flames. Yo, who here thinks that Gaimon is the man marked by flames? And uh, guys, just in a, another reminder, guys, another reminder. Tomorrow morning, I'm dropping a new video. Um, Saturday morning, I'm dropping a new video. And then Saturday at noon, I'm gonna draw, uh, have a stream here on my channel with JD Legend. Then following that, the next week, Thursday new video, Saturday new video, and Saturday also a stream. We're gonna have a bus to call next week, guys. Next week, um, this week is JD Legend, but next week is gonna be that One Piece talk. We're gonna get them on the stream. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, my, what I'm trying to do for you guys how I'm trying to conduct myself for the YouTube channel because I, I sat down and I made like a really great schedule that makes me feel comfortable, right? And with this schedule, it's gonna allow me to have two YouTube shorts, two YouTube videos, and two YouTube streams a week. That's for break weeks. If it's a chapter week, then you guys get three streams a week. 
two videos a week, two shorts a week. If that makes sense. Why do you think Blackbeard went to Drum Island? Bro, I think Blackbeard went to Drum Island. I think that panel was put in because it's connected to the other panel in Fishman Island when um, Chopper said that Blackbeard might want his fruit, right? Because I, I, let's actually, let's talk about that because that's a really fun topic. And I feel like most One Piece fans don't actually get like the full story. So let's, guys, are you guys ready to go on an adventure? Everyone that's about to super chat uh, for the next like 10, 20 minutes, make it related to what we're talking about, please, because I don't want to go off topic. <laughs> okay, so um, Chopper says Blackbeard wants his fruit. Okay, guys, here we go. Adventure time. You ready? So. So. Let me pull up the necessary panels and then we'll be good to go. Are you guys ready for class, bro? Are you guys for are you guys for uh, ready for uh One Piece Theory King 101? One Piece Theories 101. All right, so all right guys, let's break this down. Um this is the curious case of Blackbeard going to Drum Island. Now, earlier on in the story, previous to or prior to Alabasta, Nami got sick and we had to go to uh, Drum Island. This is the arc. This was the island that we met Chopper, who turned out to be a reindeer that had the human human fruit, which curiously has no model, right? As far as what we know, as of May 3rd, 2023, Chopper does not have a model on his human human fruit. That's one thing to note. Most uh, zones we see, they usually have models. Keep that in mind. Boom. We learned that Blackbeard was at uh, Drum Island and he destroys the island for no reason. That's, that's kind of weird. When Blackbeard goes around the One Piece world, he's looking for devil fruits, right? You could ask any YouTuber, ask any One Piece streamer, any One Piece cr content creator. Everyone knows that Bla one of Blackbeard's highest priorities is collecting devil fruits. So if we know that Drum Island was destroyed because of Blackbeard, we could presume that Blackbeard went to Drum Island for a devil fruit. Now, that seems fair and that seem re seems reasonable, but let's not assume that's the case, okay? Let's not assume that's the case yet. When we think about Fishman Island, Again, we see this panel. According to rumor, they're now putting weight into hunting those with powers. Somehow they possess the means to kill power users and loot their abilities. Blackbeard and his crew are ever in search of more powerful devil fruits, be wary. Which is basically reaffirming what I told you guys a minute ago. One of Blackbeard's highest priorities is collecting devil fruits, okay? Now, at this moment in the panel, you as a One Piece fan should think about the panel we just saw this panel this panel should come to mind you should be like okay usopp's telling me that blackbeard looks for devil fruits he goes to every island for devil fruits well didn't he in the earlier went to earlier in the story blackbeard went to drum island so usopp did is that why blackbeard went to drum island was it for devil fruits and by the end of this panel, guys, it's Oda is such an amazing writer and he's just so good. Sometimes it's really hard for me to crack a mystery and get a theory going because he's so fucking clever. But by the end of this panel, Chopper says, oh crap, I'm screwed, which is like mind blowing because it's like Oda knew that when he, how do I say this? When Oda was creating this panel right here and he had Usopp talking about Blackbeard searching for devil fruits, Oda knew that the readers would be thinking about Chopper and Drum Island. That's exactly why Chopper right here said, oh crap, I'm screwed. Because he knew fans would remember this, right? And what Usopp says is even more interesting. Usopp says, uh, nobody wants the human human fruit. And Chopper says, why not? Now guys, bro as a hardcore theorist bro one of my favorite things that i use to, to try to create a theory and try to catch oda in in a scheme there's one pattern that oda likes to do there's this pattern where oda will have a character say something that is foreshadowing an event 
And then Oda will have that conversation get completely cut off, right? One example of it, I always give this one, the beginning of Punk Hazard, we thought the island was only fire and magma. Nami had a comment where she said she saw a colder climate far away or something like that. An offhand comment, Oda cut off the conversation, and then later on the arc, we did find out that there was half snow on the other side. The whole reason I say that, the whole reason that matters is because it's so weird how Usopp says nobody wants the human fruit and then like Oda cuts off the conversation here. Like, bro, they, these like to me, re this is like ringing alarms in my head. All the red flags. So like regarding Chopper going or regarding Blackbeard going to Drum Island, I believe Blackbeard went to Drum Island for the human human fruit, but I have no clue why he would want that fruit i don't know why he would want that fruit i know that there's an sbs where oda asks i'll, I'll just show you guys right now sbs what if a human eats a human devil fruit here i'll show you guys this one this sbs a lot of you guys probably know exactly what i'm gonna pull up right now what happens if a person eats an ahito uh, hito no mi? I suppose they should be, or I suppose I should say they become human. I guess you could say that means like becoming an adult or finding your true spirit or something. So basically, people will live more human like. Well, I guess you could say that or not. Basically, not. Goodbye. Bro. what kind of answer is this this is why like oda is such a sneaky bastard bro he's such a sneaky bastard he he shows us that blackbeard goes to drum island he reminds us that blackbeard wants fruits and fucking usopp even refers to the drum island thing right and then we get this what is what is this so basically people will live more human like. Well, I guess you could say that or not. Basically not. Goodbye. <laughs> Yo, this man this man Chopper, bro. I'm starting to think he doesn't have a regular a regular Hito Hito no me, man. Every time I think about this situation, guys, every time I think about this situation, I'm like, bro, Oda's hiding something, man. Oda's hiding something, bro. And I, I, this has been on my mind for a very long time, and I haven't found an answer for this yet, but one day I'm gonna find an answer. One day, bro, I'm gonna be playing Rocket League or some shit, and then like, like in the middle of me hitting a goal, everything in my mind, like imagine I was in the Matrix. And like all the numbers just went like perfectly across like the whole room. Everything in my brain just clicks. And then I just realize the whole situation. And I'm like, yo, new video guys. <laughs> what rank is evil in league though? What's that really matters? I don't play League of Legends, bro. I don't play League of Legends. Uh, shout out to Laser Shock who runs away. <laughs> Bro really woke up and gave that answer. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Shouts out to my boy Laser Shock, man. And shouts out to Mr. Rubix. Based Rubix. Is Lil B the base god? Bitch mob. Did you realize that Blackbeard could have a, uh, advanced conquerors in chapter 1063? Yeah, um, if Blackbeard didn't have conquerors hockey, I would be very confused and I'd probably be disappointed because like, that's just Oda fumbling, right? Like, dude, like no offense. I'm, I, what I'm about to say is gonna offend people and I don't mean to offend anybody. Nobody, please take this personal. But like the concept of Blackbeard not having conquerors is like one of the dumbest like takes. Cause when we think about Blackbeard, this is someone that has conquered multiple people. Ace, Kobe, you could go on on all day, right? We knew he was gonna conquer uh, Boa. Don't be fucking dirty minded, y'all. But regardless, he's a conqueror, right? He's also someone that's trying to contend for Pirate King. How are you gonna give someone like Zoro or Kid conquerors hockey, but you're not gonna give Blackbeard conquerors? 
I never understood that. Like, maybe somebody that's watching this stream can enlighten me. I have no clue why, like, Blackbeard wouldn't have conquerors. There must be something that I'm not understanding. Just because, like, he runs away from fights or, like, he doesn't engage in every single fight, that doesn't mean matter. Like, that's not being a coward. Why, like, think about it, right? If you were in Blackbeard's shoes, and you knew you could fight an admiral and you could defeat him, but you would probably fucking lose like two of your crewmates in the process. Is it really worth it? No, it's not worth it, right? So like Blackbeard not taking on these pointless fights and these pointless engagements, that doesn't mean he's a coward. It doesn't mean anything. If anything, it means he's clever and smart. That's exactly why Blackbeard's gonna be one of the people that are like runner ups for Pirate King because Blackbeard's not getting into pointless fights. Like if Blackbeard fought Aki Inu for Jewelry Bonnie and that whole thing, like why would that have mattered? Someone in Blackbeard's crew would have died and you what he would have took out Aki Inu then what like I don't know bro thank you guys for coming to my TED talk though if someone gets offended over a manga it's crazy for real bro you got to bring this up when that one piece talk comes on man i don't know i don't i'm i i don't really get offended off of takes and you know i don't really care at the end of the day you know what another person thinks about one piece i might roast somebody for a little bit but it doesn't really matter at the end of the day you know i'm curious to see what they say though i feel like the the, the main argument that people have against blackbeard or the main the main argument people have for Blackbeard not having conquers is that he runs from fights. But like, that's arguable. I've been following One Piece for 18 years and you still managed to blow my mind with the theories. My jaw dropped for chapter one just now or for the chopper one just now. Oh, appreciate it. Yo, I went on that whole fucking tirade just now, that whole long ass tangent about chopper <laughs> and the human human fruit. I'm, I was thinking the whole time, like, yo, I hope these guys are listening, bro. Am I just like schizo posting right now? Schizo streaming. Uh, that One Piece talk guy always disrespects Blackbeard with nonsense. We'll see, bro. I, uh, I don't really care too much about Blackbeard anyways. Like, don't get me wrong. He's a cool character, but like, I don't really care about a lot of the characters. You know, like, if a character deserves to lose, I don't feel bad for them losing, basically. Um... Yeah, you hit it right in the head, Evil. I think Blackbeard dies or does act a bit differently from other conquerors, but I think that's kind of the point. I think there's multiple paths. Exactly, man. Exactly, exactly, exactly. That's one thing that I wish like a lot of people would take into account when they make a One Piece theory too. People need to understand most One Piece characters have a very specific role to play, right? And when you see that character portrayed in that role, the character will continue in that role and the character will end in that role, right? We know Law's role in the story. We know Zoro's role in the story, Blackbeard, Dragon, etc. cetera. Um, the way Blackbeard's written is he's a conniving, scheming, finessing type of guy who's just gonna go ham at the very end when he has to. That doesn't mean he's weak or he's scared or anything. It just means, it just means he's different. Like, I don't know, it just seems like a pointless conversation. Maybe not pointless, cause some people might not understand that viewpoint, but it feels like a silly one. Yeah, it was about a year ago. Evil was calling Chad delusional for this very thing. What are you talking about? Lafitte is the real leader of the Black Bear Pirates. What makes you say that? Check Theory's channel. Let me see.
Oh shit! <gasps> Yo! Yo! Bro, that was the Kraken from Fishman Island, bro. Sarume. Yo! Nah! Yo! Yo, that's insane. Yo, is that that, um... Who posted that? Was it that fucking mongoloid guy? That goblin looking motherfucker, bro. That dude in the fucking Discord with the Clash of Clans goblin. Fuck, where's the panel? Was it at the end? It was at the end of the chapter. I'm fucking stupid. There we go. Bro! I didn't even peep that, dog. What? Nah. What chapter was that? What chapter was this? This was like 545 or something like that. I am credulous, by the way. It's definitely not 545. Let's try like 640. Um... No, they're already at Fishman Island at this point. Yo, Goblin Guy, are you in the chat right now? Yo, the dude with the Goblin profile picture, are you in the chat? Um, bro, I have no clue what fucking chapter that was. 525? I don't think it's that soon. Okay, so Oh, I think I'm getting closer to it cuz they're underwater here. Okay. Okay, the underwater volcanoes, Sume jumps. Oh, was it before this actually? It might have been before this. Well, no, actually it might be this one. No, it's not. Oh my god. If Blackbeard's an octopus, then wouldn't that make Blackbeard related to Davy Jones? Yeah, it would make Blackbeard related to Davy Jones. That was one of my reason that was one of my main reasons for Blackbeard being uh, an octopus. Blackbeard being an octopus would make him like Davy Jones. Which is like classic when you think about Pirates of the Caribbean. Um and octopuses have three hearts. You also had Oda give like some offhand comment. Oh, I found it. Oda gave an offhand comment too about Surume's family, like being from the north or some shit in the middle of a chapter uh, towards the end of Fishman Island. And I thought that was strange because it's like, like why would Oda go out of his way to talk about Surume's family? Doesn't that seem weird to you guys? I think the reason he did that is fucking, uh, the reason he did that is because Surume's family's gonna matter. Maybe, um, you know, Kraken are a special race in the One Piece world or some shit, I don't know. They don't even know Blackbeard's an octopus chat. All right, chat, you know what to do. You know what to do, guys. You guys know what to do. I'm going to put it in the... Don't worry, I got it in the stream chat for y'all. Um, We need to see 200 likes on the stream. Yo, everybody watching the stream, press the like button or you're a bitch. Yo, you know what? Matter of fact, everyone that's watching the stream right now, every single person that's watching this stream, open the emoji panel on YouTube chat and post post a W emoji. Post a golden W emoji. Everyone watching the stream, golden W emoji right now in chat. Every single person. Let's go. Every single person. Let's go.
There we go. My boy Eric in the chat. What's good, Sing? What's good, Juan? What's good, Roland? My boy Dion, my boy Ronnie. Big Ronnie, don't play with Big Ronnie. Yo, Wani Williams. <laughs> Let's go. Nah, that's crazy though, bro. That man really peeped that. Damn, bro. He really peeped the Blackbeard shit, bro. Bro, how did I not peep that? I really didn't catch that. Damn. And I just reread Fishman Island, bro. I just reread Fishman Island. That's the funny part, bro. <laughs> Damn. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, yo, um, Ahmad, Ahmed, what's good, brother? How you feeling, bro? Scroll down for Blackbeard attack or attack advanced conquers. I mean, I already I know Blackbeard has advanced conquers. Yeah, I, I talked about this on stream one time. Literally, look, zap, look. It literally says zap and you see the sound effect right here and you see the black lightning. I, I even mentioned this in the reverie. If you guys watched the last One Piece reverie with uh, Randy Troy, it was on Randy Troy's channel, uh, Par Vision, JD Legend, uh, Labrio O'Hara, you know, the usual people. I mentioned this. I mentioned this. Not to say I want credit. I don't give less than a single fuck. I'm just saying people should fucking acknowledge this, bro. Cause this, there's no way this is fucking loss hockey. No way this is loss hockey. It's Blackbeards, bro. I totally agree with you. Whoever it was, I, I forgot who it was that fucking said to go look at that. I agree. My boys, my Nakama in the chat. Your Discord has been popping off lately in terms of finding stuff, yo. Shouts out to the Discord. That's why y'all should join the Discord. Every, hey, that's another thing. Y'all watching the stream, join my Discord. It's at the top of the stream chat. It's free. You can uh, get, get a notification every time a chapter drops. Get a notification every time the spoilers drop. Talk to other One Piece fans. Share me your theories. We got Oofmatic in the chat. Hey, Oofmatic, just for that, I'm going to hit the blinker. Hey, oof, Matic, I'm going to hit the boo for you, bro. Are you ready? Yo, we're good. <coughs> we're vibing. <coughs> What's the next theory? <coughs> Chat. I have ascended into God status of the three-eyed tribe. I am at the God status of the three-eyed tribe. Any answer you have about the story of One Piece, drop it in the stream chat and I shall answer with the highest degree of accuracy. Join me my fellow my fellow viewers my fellow followers join me i'm the leader of the three-eyed tribe we're gonna take over the one piece theory community is gonna be filled with three-eyed tribe members <coughs> <coughs> 
Silver Axe from Rocks. Burn Scar, man. No. I think the Rocks Pirates, bro, they had their time. They're washed up now, bro. Rocks Pirates are washed up. That's exactly why Blackbeard went to Wang Shi and probably negatived him, bro. Probably negatived, bro. <coughs> <coughs> Yo, mo <coughs> hey, yo, I got to word this very carefully. Person in the chat who has the username monkey. <laughs> Just chill. People are worried about me coughing and shit because they care about you, boy. OK, that's what matters. OK, OK, monkey. They're worrying about me and they're saying, yo, chill. You stop coughing, whatever, because they're worried about your boy. Even if they're misinformed and they think we're hitting the nick, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it do not matter. <laughs> all right, guys, what, what's the next question? Come on, damn. Y'all have no questions. I could go all day. <clears throat> what would have happened if Luffy went to Elbaf instead of Kid? Bro, if Luffy went to Elbaf instead of Kid, I'll just assume that kid went to uh, went to um, Egghead. How far would kid make it into Egghead? I don't know. Kid, would, do you guys think kid could? Kid can't beat a Seraphim, right? Yeah, I think kid would get fucked up in Egghead. I'm gonna be honest. Those Seraphim are gonna steamroll his crew. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. So if kid, if kid went to if kid went to Egghead, he would get destroyed by the Seraphim. Luffy will go to Elbaf. Shanks would... I think when Luffy and Shanks meet up, it's going to be a clash, bro. Yes or no, guys? When Luffy and Shanks meet, they're going to have a clash, bro. Lu the, the first thing they're going to do when Luffy and Shanks lock eyes... This clash split the sky, bro. Split the sky, bro. Imagine that's how the chapter ended, man. Like you see Luffy on the ship and you see his crewmates and you see the red haired pirates on their ship and then all of a sudden Shanks disappears and Luffy disappears Zoro and um fucking Ben Beckman are like yo where's Luffy where's Shanks and then all of a sudden bro in the middle of the sky in midair bro you just see Shanks and Luffy midair clashing splitting the sky while they're in midair because they jumped off their boat Dude, you know how crazy that would be in the anime? That would literally be one of the best mo That actually might be the best moment of the story. Like, think about that. Since episode one, we've been waiting to see Luffy reunite with Shanks, right? If that's how they did it, it would be insane, bro. Like, imagine, like, they, bro, especially since Luffy's like a devil fruit user, just jumping off the boat and clashing with Shanks in the air. Nah, that's hard, bro. That's crazy. Do you think Cross Guild will recruit Moria? Bro, I don't care about Moria. Guys, I have a hot take. Will you guys still love me after my hot take? I have a hot take, guys. I have a hot take. Moria is a boring, lame character. I don't like Moria, okay? His laugh is annoying. His design's not that great his his motivation is whack his dreams whack his backstory is nothing There's no backstory his future is nothing there's i like nothing about him there's so many characters that are just outright better than moria he probably wouldn't even be in my top 50 he's one of the my most unlikable characters bro on god bro like bro Aki Inu is at least, you know, someone that like, you know, maybe you hate him. You have that burning hatred. You're like, ah, Aki Inu, whatever. At least you feel something, right? But Mori is so fucking mid, bro. No, King J, don't start that fucking Mori laugh, bro. Don't do it, bro. He's the coolest bowling pin. <laughs> Yo, Rubix, you're a fucking clown for that one, bro. <laughs> Smith said bowling pin. Yo, what would that make fucking Kuma then? Wait, so if what's the opposite of a bowling pin? A glass of wine? 
Yeah, a glass of wine is like the opposite. A Dorito? What do you mean a Dorito? <laughs> Who the fuck said a Dorito? Bro. Y'all be smoking that Za, bro. Y'all be off that Za pack for sure. Wheel evil if you was Moria. Or well evil. If you were Moria, you would be the same, especially knowing Kaido took his. I mean. Uh, I mean, I, I get what you're saying. Like, I can see where he's coming from. Fighting Kaido and everything. Like, not that many people are going to fucking beat Kaido, right? But I don't know. He just doesn't strike me as that great of a character, man. Even like giving him that benefit of the doubt, I just, I don't like him, man. His voice, his voice actor, I'm not feeling Moria. I'm just, I'm not, bro. <clears throat> this is definitely advanced conquerors. Gura Gura is drawn like cracks and not lightning. We've seen Whitebeard use both. Exactly. King J, Blackbeard used advanced conquerors. You know why? Because Blackbeard is a conqueror that is trying to become the Pirate King. Is it is it like is it that complicated, bro? Blackbeard has kingly ambitions. He literally wants to be the Pirate King. How is that not kingly ambitions? It's literally in the it's in the word. It's in the phrase kingly ambitions. He wants to be the Pirate King, <laughs> bro. I theory, Joy Boy defeated Emu and sent Emu into hiding. Emu is still scared of Joy Boy's power. Emu starts the world government, but continues to hide until they find the Nika Nika fruit. Um, well, what happened to Joy Boy then? We knew that there was a 100 year war, right? When was that said? That was said recently. I think it was said during Egghead. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. They said that there was a 100 year war. So like, you know, if jo Joy Boy defeated Emu, what happened to Joy Boy then? Because I'm, I'm assuming the end of that war, the 100 year war, is what you're saying. Uh, Emu beat Joy Boy. What, what happened then? Because like, Emu's clearly ruling the world. What if multiple factions get the fourth Ponyglyph at the same time and there's gonna be a race for the One Piece and Cross Guild and Davy back fight with the Straw Hats? Yeah, um, I get I get the gist of what you're saying, Pablo. Um, my next two videos are heavily related to what you're talking about. Again, uh, my next video is tomorrow morning and the second video is Saturday morning. Um, I don't wanna spoil too much, but to answer your question, I think Law is going to join Cross Guild. And when you look at how Law made copies of Poneglyphs for Luffy and Kid before they left Wano, I think that's going to foreshadow how Law still has copies. So what I'm what I'm basically saying is I think Cross Guild is going to accept Law into the crew. And Law is going to give them the um, Poneglyphs that he has so far. So what's going to happen is Law being in Cross Guild, Cross Guild is going to go for the man with the burn scar at the same time as Luffy, Blackbeard, and Shanks. I think that's what's going to happen. All of these guys are going to collide <clears throat> at one spot. But here's the craziest part. If you, if you like what I'm saying so far, and you think I'm spitting and I'm cooking, take a seat, grab your chair, get ready for this one. This is where it gets real wild. There, it's a possibility. There's a possibility that the man with the burn scar is a revolutionary army. So what ends up happening is Cross Guild, Blackbeard, Shanks, and Luffy all go after Dragon. All of them, all of these factions, boom, go after dragon and that would be the most insane war i could ever fucking imagine imagine looking at a battlefield gear 5 luffy dragon blackbeard shanks bro that would be the craziest sequence of events <laughs>
<laughs> bro that would be so crazy nah but um like in all seriousness guys like in all seriousness <clears throat> there's a lot of reasons why i believe law is going to join cross guild and there's a lot of reasons why i think the revolutionary army has the final poneglyph um i just don't want to give away too much about the video um so hang tight for that i hope that answered your question though and shout out to ryan for the two original kaido design looks very similar to loki oh the original kaido design is the goofiest shit i've ever seen bro i swear to god this is the bro this is the goof you know what this reminds me of <laughs> bro <laughs> you guys were playing legend of zelda wind waker for some reason bro the original kaido reminds me of like a character out of like this game bro like like someone related i forget is this tetra i forgot what their what the girl's name is like I, bro, I can't put my finger on it. But if you guys have ever played that game before, if you guys ever played uh, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, you guys know exactly what I'm trying to say. I can't put my finger on it, but that's the vibes I'm getting from original. Bro. <laughs> Yo, this man had a crazy glow up though. Let's be honest, Kaido's glow up's insane, bro. Like, Kobe's glow up, don't get me wrong, Kobe might have the best glow up in the whole story, but Kaido has to be top 10 glow ups, because look how, look how bummy, look, bro. <laughs> Yo, what is this? What is this? Nah, bro, hybrid Kaido, bro, is a fucking sick ass design, bro. This right here. Nah, this shit's hard, bro. I don't care, bro. If y'all think this shit's cringe or whatever, deal with it, bro. This shit's fire, bro. I, I look. You guys know my stance on the anime. I usually don't care about the anime. I don't follow it. I just read the manga. I will admit, the way they depicted Kaido in the anime, or at least this hybrid form, bro, it's so good, bro. So shouts out to Toei, man. That's one thing I will admit. Like, look how fucking sick this is, bro. Oh my God, bro. Imagine like you had, bro, imagine you had an op, bro. And you were always talking shit on Twitter and Discord. And like, you finally saw your op in person after calling them creditless, calling them dog shit, calling them the R word. You finally see your op and this is your op. Your op is hybrid Kaido and you see them like 20 feet away. And he's just, he's just like, I, I you know, he's just holding his Kanabo like, yo, you're about to get fucking, about to get one tapped, bro. Imagine this was your op. <laughs> Beefing with Kaido is crazy, bro. <laughs> <clears throat> look at that smile he's so happy check dms let me see age hey, king j i'm about to leak our dms man yo king j let's start fake beef bro who hey who in chat is down to start some fake beef bro as long as we just like talk shit to each other on Twitter, we could be friends everywhere else. We could make videos together. We could talk on Discord. We could be on stream together. But as long as we talk shit to each other on disc or on Twitter, bro, it's a fake beef. Who's down, bro? I'm about that, bro. I'm trying to get to that bag, bro. I know there's a content. One of you content creators are watching the stream, bro. If you're trying to get to that bag, hit me up, bro. Fuck that. <clears throat> <laughs> all right so mr king j said theory continuation of mary emu being joy boy's mom the three races big mom doesn't have are three races of kids emu has lunarian kuma's race giant emu is a sheep mink her husbands were a Lunarian, a guy from Kuma's race, and a giant. She betrayed them all. So, she's a sheep from the moon. Wait, you know what that makes me think of, bro? King J, you know what that makes me think of? You know how, like, when you're supposed to... 
when you're when you're when you're trying to fall asleep you think of sheep and you like count sheep count sheep for sleep bro what if like huh I'm trying to think of of how hmm I wonder if that's why like emu has something to do with the moon and has something to do with sheep at the same time ah oh, man this is a this is a complex one bro and shout out to Dion with the 10. Do you think Luffy's Vivi card could come up in the story? Possibly someone got it from taking down one of his fleet captains. Yeah, man. Um, Luffy's Vivi card. You know, a lot of people expected to see um, fucking uh, the Grand Fleet at Wano because, you know, Luffy died against Kaido. So it's kind of weird, you know? You know, when you really think about it, actually, in general, the fact we haven't seen or heard of um, Cross Guild, not Cross Guild, the fact we haven't heard or seen uh, the Grand Fleet in a while is kind of, kind of strange. You know, so I wonder if Oda is going to, I almost feel, you guys can tell me if you agree or not, but I almost feel like Oda's going to save the uh, Grand Fleet until the final war. I feel like for some reason, Bart Alameo and all those guys are just not gonna care about Luffy's uh Luffy's um for every card, or maybe they'll lose it or some shit. I, for whatever kind of reason, whatever kind of reason you want to make up, I feel like um again the Grand Fleet won't do anything until Final War. But you could tell me what you guys think about that. That's how I feel, Dion. Um but yeah, Final War is going to be insane, bro. We're going to see Bart, all those fucking um, Don Quixote guys again. Or not Don Quixote guys, but Dressrosa guys. Oh, man. Final War is going to be nuts, bro. 100% agree. Final War or the incident that sparks the Final War. Facts, bro. Um, <clears throat> ain't no real B for real. We all owe this Nakama for real. <laughs> but who want to fight? <laughs> Yo, Ronnie, you're funny as hell, bro. That man said, but who want to fight? <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot I added that pudding. Um, I added that pudding emoji. Yo, guys, I forgot to, I forgot to mention uh i added a whole bunch of emojis to the stream chats if you guys see there's literally i added like 12 new emojis uh maybe later today or tomorrow i'll add even more because right now with the amount of members we have i could have like 24 emoji slots bro i might as well just add as many as i can right obviously ones that are actually cool but uh, yup, Grand Fleet is coming for Final War for when Luffy doesn't intend to run away and needs to take on all the world or take on all the world government fleets. Yeah, man. Jordan, I agree, bro. Man, Bartolomeo, his he, him as a character, bro, he's really interesting. Like, you know, his whole dynamic of being like a fanboy of Luffy and the Straw Hats is really funny. And then, like, you know, the whole concept about his fruit being like impenetrable is like insane man i feel like oda's gonna save uh bartolomeo's fruit for something really fun at the end probably like during final war something crucial is gonna ha like uh, something crucial is about to happen and then bart's probably gonna like throw up his wall and fucking save the person i feel like oda's gonna have to do that for bart by the end of the story man by the end of the story give bart one more clutch moment In real life, Lafitte works for world government. That's interesting. Yo, three day trip was good. What do we think happened to Bart? Is he like dead already from Shanks in Elbaf jail? I'm curious. I don't know, man. I don't know. Shanks could have just, you know, haha, -ha, beat you up. Or Shanks could have really fucking beat the shit out of him. Or maybe they didn't fight. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't think we have enough information right now 
to argue either side strong enough, you know? Um, all right, let's look at Twitter. Go check out that evil theory always comes through with the foreshadowing. Yo, shouts out to... um. Oh, aren't you in chat, bro? He's literally in chat. Um, we in here like swimwear. Let's go, bro. Can Bart uh, block divine departure? Yo, that's an insane thought. <laughs> Yo, let's actually answer that. Yo, guys, chat. Can Bartolomeo's wall block a divine departure from Shanks? Yes or no? I'm gonna say yes, bro. I'm gonna say yes, bro. It'll block at least one of them. And then when the second divine departure comes out, Bartolomeo probably won't be able to block that one. But the first one, yes. Bartolomeo's tanking that, bro. Bart is tanking that, bro. He's tanking that, bro. Don't sleep on Bart. In theory, yes. I think it's going to be weaker versus hockey. <laughs> he said, hell nah. <laughs> Yo. Double fruit versus advanced conquerors. Anyone want some memberships? Yo, monkey's about to give away some memberships. Let's go. Yo, I think that Rocky guy in chat needs a membership. If Odin can't cut it, then Shanks can't. Oh, you think you think Odin can't cut Bartolomeo's uh, wall? Hmm. I don't know, man. Yo, Chad, what about that one, kid? Can Bartolomeo cut, or can um Odin cut Bartolomeo's wall, or at least like penetrate the wall? Um, yo, shouts out to Monkey with the 20 gifted memberships. Yo, yo, I think by the end of this month, bro, we're gonna have at least 400 members on the channel, bro. We have our we already have 300 members guys actually how many members do we have now because It's it's updating this stream. We got 26 members this stream. Thank you so much monkey Thank you so so much. You're amazing. You're generous and you are you are uh, appreciated Shouts out to to, uh, to monkey. I just want to check really quick how many members do we have on this channel? Because this is insane, bro. I've never had this many before. Okay, so bef before this stream started, guys, we had 323 members. And right now, as of this very moment, we have 349 members. That means 51 more memberships We'll, at be, we'll, we'll be at 400. That's insane. Bro, you guys are some of the most generous fucking people I've ever seen, bro. Bro, 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 bro. I have such a habit of saying that word. <laughs> I, I feel like this is one of the most fucking thoughtful, um, generous communities I've ever been a part of, bro. Straight up. Goats in this community, bro. Man, so, uh, you know what's funny, guys? Like, I was thinking, I was talking to the homies yesterday about this. We know that um, Sabo's with Dragon right now. And it seems like Sabo's about to talk about, you know, Emu and the Reverie, whatever. I wonder if we're going to get Emu's face, bro. Because, guys, my, my homies off stream, obviously, they swear that we're gonna see Emu's face within like the next five chapters or some shit. When Abo, when Abo, when Sabo starts talking to Dragon, they swear we're gonna see Emu's face. Do you guys agree? I don't know, cause I feel like Oda is always blue balling the fans. 
you know, seeing something like Emu's face is a big deal. You know, we don't really need to explain that. I'm sure you guys agree with that take. So I don't know, man. I don't want to get my hopes up and just think like, oh, we're going to see Emu's face and then not see it and be disappointed, you know? So what do you guys think? Do you think we're going to see Emu's face? Oh, man. I hope so, bro. Hey, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. And shout out to Kai Official for the nine ninety nine 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 <laughs> Yo, I'm a ro yo. I just glitched out. I'm a robot that just glitched out. Love your content, bro. You the guy. Shout out to Kai Official. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Kai, right? Thank you so much. Appreciate you. What else is going on? Oda with the foreshadowing. Yes, sir. Oda with the foreshadowing. Hell yeah. They'll be fine. Yeah, they'll be fine. Yo, what's going on in the hashtag right now? It's probably a whole bunch of fake spoilers, bro. Oh, actually, let me not go on that. Oh, I just realized. Bro, no, 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 no. I just realized I could have just put spoilers on screen on accident. Thank God I closed Twitter. <laughs> Guys, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I almost spoiled some of y'all. <laughs> Please forgive me, guys. Please. I beg you guys to forgive me. Uh, Just get high on vibes with chat, bro. That's what we be doing, bro. That's what we be doing, bro. Um... Luffy dies next chapter? No way, bro. If Luffy dies next chapter, I will drop One Piece. Evil went from Yodi gang to spoiler gang. Bro, we're not we're not a spoiler gang. Yo, we're not a spoiler gang. We're OG Kaido gang, bro. Look at OG Big Mom, bro. Look at OG Big Mom. Bro, I can't get over how goofy Kaido looks. Oh my god, this guy's a goofball, bro. I swear to god, bro. Alright, anyways, I'm getting distracted. I keep fucking sitting here roasting Kaido. Enough's enough, bro. Um... Reminds me of the fake straw hats. Oh, bro, the fake straw hats are so goaded, man. Tomorrow Black, that's a young king right there, bro. Tomorrow Black, bro? Man. Why are we counting sheep? Hody. We're doing theory research, bro. Trust the process, man. I know I'm Googling lullabies and I know I'm Googling pacifiers and I'm Googling fucking bibs and fucking diapers. Trust the process. It's a theory, okay? Emu is Mary and Marijua is Mary Geo or Mary's world. Mary meaning Emu. What are your thoughts on Oda possibly writing a time skip to the time of Egghead incident when we get back to the shots? Um, I don't think that's necessary. Oda keeps hopping back and forth between, again, Hachinosu and Egghead. I don't think we'd need a time skip. Plus, we know that whatever, whatever's, whatever, um, whatever is bound to happen on Egghead, you know, by the end of tomorrow, um has to begin like relatively soon right so um yeah i don't i don't think we need a time skip basically um i really hope oda shows the afterworld we know it exists since brooke confirmed it i'd love to meet luffy or i'd love to see luffy meet ace that's kind of i don't know that mm, i don't know something like that's kind of i don't know it's kind of weird. An afterworld, like an actual heaven, like mm, I don't know. I don't know how I feel how I feel about that one, bro. I don't know how I feel about that one. 
All right, guys, but um, this is where we're gonna call it. Okay, guys, this is where we're gonna call it. We're just about hitting the two hour mark. Um, thank you to everybody that showed up. Uh, as I said, there's a new video dropping tomorrow morning. Then there is a uh, video dropping Saturday morning. And then I'm having a stream with JD Legend here on my channel Saturday at noon EST. So I would love if everyone here showed up to that stream again on the Saturday at noon. It'll be very lit. Um, JD Legend is really fucking cool, bro. Really respectful, cool guy, bro. I'm looking forward to getting him on stream, but I'd appreciate if you guys showed up and showed him some love, but appreciate y'all. Pre appreciate you guys showing up to the stream. Shouts out to everybody that super chatted like Monkey with hella memberships. G, Dion Edwards, Ryan, Laser, Kai, Growth, Lubu, Robin, Sosa, Axe, Wes, Nico, Smokey. I think that's everyone, or at least most, most of it. But yeah, anyways, video in the morning, tomorrow morning, when you see that upload, stop whatever it is you're doing and click on that video because it's a bang of video and you're going to learn something tomorrow okay